Scott, first, congratulations, obviously, on being named assistant principal. Thank you. What what brought you to want to even apply for or go for this job uh, to step into the administrative role here at Bellbrook? Well, a couple things stood out when the job came open was, one, the experience that um, my kids have had this year alone in, um, in Bellbrook, both at the high school level and the middle school level. Like they both had phenomenal, phenomenal experiences, great teachers, and they really pushed them to be better students. And I, and I was just thrilled with the decision, one, to come here and just watching their growth kind of forced me to, how can I do more? And when this job came open, um, I, I applied for it just to push myself like my, both my kids have been pushed here and what can I do to grow as a professional, grow as a teacher, grow as a person and I think this is the kind of the next step in my growth as an educator. Let's talk about your history a little bit. Where uh, where'd you start? Well I, I started um, a small school in Tri-County North in okay. 2000 and then um, from there I went to, I taught fifth grade for two years at Wilmington City Schools um, and decided I wanted to get into coaching and because of the position at Wilmington, I wasn't allowed to coach, so I went to Clinton Massey for 10 years um, and taught eighth grade science. Went to Wilmington for 10 years after that to be the head football coach and also continue to teach eighth grade science. And then um, took the job here at BCI last year and you know, kind of haven't looked back. Gotcha. Was administration always a goal if, if you're looking back and going to college at some point you wanted to be a, a principal, assistant principal, maybe even superintendent? Honestly, no. As, as I matured as a teacher to kind of get to like what's the next step and having great leaders and principals and superintendents along the way to kind of help guide me from, um, from Ron Ruddick to Dr. Michael Sander at Franklin kind of opened the door for, hey, you know, this may be something next because I'm not going to coach forever, mm -hmm. but I love being around people, being around kids, and, you know, how can I help them be the best version of themselves? And, and I think being, becoming an admin will open that door for that. What excites you about the opportunity to work with Jenna Hill, specifically at Bellbrook? Well, I think Jenna's amazing. Um, and and not just with Jenna, but also at the middle school and how, you know, the how phenomenal the teachers are there and the culture that's already established from Jenna and from um, Mr. Eckley as well. I think it's a great opportunity for me to learn and also to grow in that building. So the uh, to answer your question, the opportunity for growth working with Jenna is, I think, is one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. As soon as he accepted, I did call Donnie and apologize that we're taking <laughs> such a good teacher from him. Um, but uh, we're just, we're really excited and um, we can't wait to have him join our staff here next year. So. You both come from an athletic background, which I find really interesting from the administrator perspective. Talk about that a little bit and how you think those kind of personalities will, will mesh together as you guys continue to lead Faubourg Middle School? Well, I think the first thing that pops out is, one, the drive to be the best, um, the competitive nature that comes with athletics. Um, I think that is only going to push us to kind of get out of our comfort zones when it comes to working with the teachers and the, and the students at the middle school level. And, and having that background, um, you know, the extra work, the the, the multitasking that takes place mm -hmm. from the athletic field to the classroom. I think it's going to be, you know, being able to juggle the different things that come at us. What are some of the other things you do here at the district? I'm, I'm a football coach for the varsity as well. So juggling that is going to be uh, interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. But also, you know, I have jumped in with the Focus 3 and the E plus articles though. Um, and I love that and the, the lessons that can be taught 
with that to the students and now I'll be able to kind of pass that along to the staff um, even more than the position I was in. Once again, it goes back to growth and helping the students and helping the staff grow together to be the very best version of a middle school um, classroom teachers, students that, that they can be. Do you have any specific goals? I know you're, you're a little bit away from starting yet, <laughs> but do you have any specific goals for the middle school that you're kind of setting for yourself or for the school itself um, in the next year, five years? Continue on the path that they're on mm -hmm. um, and continue to be an excellent school, a blue ribbon school, and continue that growth. But then what's next? How can we be the very best school in the state of Ohio. That's what I'm looking for.